Chapter on the virtues of Al Khadr, peace be upon him. It was narrated that Sayyid bin Jubair said, I said to Ibn Abbas, Nauf al Bikali is saying that Musa, peace be upon him, the prophet of the children of Israel, is not the same Musa, peace be upon him, who accompanied Al Khadr, peace be upon him. He said, The enemy of Allah is lying. I heard Ubay bin Qab say, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, Musa, peace be upon him, stood up and delivered a speech to the children of Israel. He was asked, Which of the people is most knowledgeable? He said, I am the most knowledgeable. Allah was angry with him because he did not attribute knowledge to him, and Allah revealed to him, One of my slaves at the place where the two seas meet is more knowledgeable than you. Musa, peace be upon him, said, O Lord, how can I meet him? It was said to him, Carry a fish in a basket, and where you lose the fish, he will be there. He set off, accompanied by his servant, who was Yusha bin Nun. Musa, peace be upon him, carried a fish in a basket. He and his slave set out walking until they came to the rock. Musa, peace be upon him, and his slave went to sleep, and the fish began to move in the basket until it came out of the basket and fell into the sea. Allah halted the flow of water until it became like an arch, and it was like a tunnel for the fish, and Musa, peace be upon him, and his servant were astonished. They set out for the rest of that day and the following night, and the servant of Musa, peace be upon him, forgot to tell him. The next morning, Musa, peace be upon him, said to his slave, Bring us our morning meal. Truly, we have suffered much fatigue in this, our journey. He had not felt tired until he passed the place where he had been enjoined to stop. He said, Do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock? I indeed forgot the fish. None but Shaitan made me forget to remember it. It took its course into the sea in a strange way. Musa, peace be upon him, said, That is what we were seeking. So they retraced their steps until they came to the rock where they saw a man covered with a garment. Musa, peace be upon him, greeted him with salam, and Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, said to him, How could you have peace, salam, in your land? He said, I am Musa. He said, The Musa of the children of Israel? Peace be upon him. He said, Yes. He said, You have knowledge from Allah that Allah has taught you, and I do not know it. And I have knowledge from Allah that Allah has taught me, and you do not know it. Musa, peace be upon him, said to him, May I follow you so that you may teach me some of that knowledge which you have been taught by Allah? He said, Verily, you will not be able to have patience with me. And how can you have patience about a thing which you know not? Musa said, Peace be upon him, If Allah wills, you will find me patient, and I will not disobey you at all. Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, said to him, Then if you follow me, ask me not about anything till I myself mention of it to you. Musa, peace be upon him, said, Yes. So Al-Khadr and Musa, peace be upon them, set out walking along the shore of the sea, and a boat passed by them. They spoke to them, asking them to carry them. They recognized Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, so they carried them for free. Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, went to one of the planks of the boat and pulled it out, and Musa, peace be upon him, said to him, These people carried us for free, and you have scuttled their boat so as to drown its people. Verily, you have committed a dreadful thing. Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, said, Did I not tell you that you would not be able to have patience with me? Musa, peace be upon him, said, Call me not to account for what I forgot, and be not hard upon me for my affair with you. Then they disembarked from the ship, and while they were walking along the shore, they saw a boy playing with other boys. Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, took hold of his head and pulled it off and killed him. Musa, peace be upon him, said to him, Have you killed an innocent person who had killed none? Verily you have committed an evil thing. Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, said, Did I not tell you that you can have no patience with me? He said, This was more grievous than the first. Musa, peace be upon him, said, If I ask you anything after this, keep me not in your company. You have received an excuse from me. Then they set off until they came to the people of a village, where they asked the people for food, but they refused to entertain them. They found therein a wall that was about to collapse, and Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, gestured with his hand and set it straight. Musa, peace be upon him, said to him, 
people to whom we came, and they showed us no hospitality and offered us no food. If you had wished, you could have taken wages for it. Al-Khadir, peace be upon him, said, This is the parting between me and you. I will tell you the interpretation of those things over which you were unable to hold patience. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, May Allah have mercy on Musa, peace be upon him, would that he had had patience so that we might have heard more of their story. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The first time was due to forgetfulness on Musa's part, peace be upon him. A bird came and perched on the edge of the boat and pecked in the water. And Al-Khadir, peace be upon him, said to him, Your knowledge and my knowledge, compared to the knowledge of Allah, are no more than that which this bird takes from the sea. Sayyid bin Jubair said, And he used to read, There was a king ahead of them who seized every ship by force, and he used to read, As for the boy, he was a disbeliever. It was narrated that Sayyid bin Jubair said, It was said to Ibn Abbas, Nauf says that the Musa, peace be upon him, who went to seek knowledge was not the same as the Musa, peace be upon him, of the children of Israel. He said, Did you hear that, O Sayyid? He said, Yes. He said, Nauf is lying. Ubay bin Kaab narrated, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, While Musa, peace be upon him, was among his people, reminding them of the days of Allah, and the days of Allah are his blessings and trials, he said, I do not know of any man on earth who is better and more knowledgeable than me. Allah revealed to him, I know best about goodness or with whom it is. In the land, there is a man who is more knowledgeable than you. He said, O Lord, guide me to him. It was said to him, Take a salted fish with you as provision, and he will be where you lose the fish. He and his servant set out until they came to the rock, but he did not find any clue. Musa, peace be upon him, set out and left his servant behind, and the fish began to stir in the water, which became like a tunnel. His servant said, Should I not catch up with the Prophet of Allah and tell him? But he was caused to forget. When they went beyond that point, he said to his servant, Bring us our morning meal. Truly we have suffered much fatigue in this, our journey. And they did not become tired until they passed that point. Then he remembered and said, do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock? I indeed forgot the fish. None but Shaitan made me forget to remember it. It took its course into the sea in a strange way. Musa, peace be upon him, said, That is what we have been seeking. So they went back, retracing their footsteps. He showed him where the fish had jumped out, and he said, This is the place that was described to me. Then he went looking for him, and he found al khidr peace be upon him, covered with a garment lying on his back. Musa, peace be upon him, said, As-salamu alaykum. He uncovered his face and said, Wa alaykum as-salam. Who are you? He said, I am Musa, peace be upon him. He said, Who is Musa? Peace be upon him. He said, The Musa of the children of Israel. He said, What brings you here? He said, I have come that you teach me something of that knowledge, guidance, and true path which you have been taught by Allah. He said, Verily, you will not be able to have patience with me. And how can you have patience about a thing which you know not? Something I have been enjoined to do, but if you see it, you will not be able to bear it. Musa said, If Allah wills, you will find me patient, and I will not disobey you at all. Al-Khadir, peace be upon him, said, Then if you follow me, ask me not about anything till I myself mention of it to you. So they both proceeded, till, when they embarked the ship, he scuttled it. Musa, peace be upon him, said, Have you scuttled it in order to drown its people? Verily you have committed a dreadful thing. He said, Did I not tell you that you would not be able to have patience with me? He said, Call me not to account for what I forgot, and be not hard upon me for my affair with you. Then they proceeded until they came to some boys who were playing, and Al-Khadir, peace be upon him, went straight to one of them and killed him. Musa, peace be upon him, was greatly distressed by that and said, Have you killed an innocent person who had killed none? Verily, you have committed an evil thing. At this point, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, May Allah's mercy be upon us and on Musa, peace be upon him. Were it not that he was too hasty, he would have seen wondrous things, but he was seized with fear of blame for his companion. Musa, peace be upon him, said, if I ask you anything after this, keep me not in your company. You have received an excuse from me. If he had been patient, he would have seen wondrous things. He, 
Obey bin Kaab said, When he, peace be upon him, mentioned any of the prophets, he would start with himself, saying, May Allah have mercy upon us, and upon my brother so and so. May the mercy of Allah be upon us. Then they proceeded until they came to the people of a town who were very stingy. They went around to various gatherings, asking the people for food, but they refused to entertain them. They found there a wall that was about to collapse, but Al Khadr, peace be upon him, made it straight. Musa, peace be upon him, said, If you had wished, surely you could have taken wages for it. Al Khadr said, This is the parting between me and you. He took hold of his garment and said, I will tell you the interpretation of those things over which you were unable to hold patience. As for the ship, it belonged to poor people working in the sea. So I wished to make a defect in it, as there was a king behind them who seized every ship by force. When they came to the one who wanted to seize it, he found it was damaged, so he let it go, and they repaired it with wood. As for the boy, he was created a disbeliever by nature, but his parents loved him. Had he lived, we feared lest he should oppress them by rebellion and disbelief. So we intended that the Lord should exchange him for them with one better in righteousness and nearer to mercy. As for the wall, it belonged to two orphan boys in the town. Under the wall there was a treasure belonging to them, and their father was a righteous man, and your Lord intended that they should attain their age of full strength and take out their treasure as a mercy from your Lord. A similar hadith as number 6165 was narrated from Abu Ishaq with the chain of at from Abu Ishaq. It was narrated from Obay bin Kaab that the Prophet peace be upon him recited, you could have taken wages for it. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Abbas that he and Al-Hur bin Qas bin Hisna al-Fazari disputed concerning the companion of Musa, peace be upon him. Ibn Abbas said, he is Al-Khadr, peace be upon him. Ubay bin Kaab al-Ansari passed by them, and Ibn Abbas called him and said, O Abu At-Tufal, come here. This companion of mine and I are disputing about the companion of Musa, peace be upon him, whom he wanted to meet. Did you hear the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, speak about him? Ubay said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, While Musa, peace be upon him, was among a group of the children of Israel, a man came to him and said, do you know of anyone who is more knowledgeable than you? Musa, peace be upon him, said, No, Allah revealed to Musa, peace be upon him. No, there is our slave, Al-Khadr, peace be upon him. Musa asked how he could meet him, and the fish was made a sign. It was said to him, When you lose the fish, go back and you will meet him. Musa, peace be upon him, traveled as far as Allah willed he should travel. Then he said to his servant, Bring us our morning meal. When Musa, peace be upon him, asked him for the morning meal, the servant of Musa, peace be upon him, said, Do you remember when we betook ourselves to the rock? I indeed forgot the fish. None but shaitan made me forget to remember it. Musa, peace be upon him, said to his servant, That is what we have been seeking. So they went back, retracing their footsteps. Then they found Al-Khadr, peace be upon him, and his story is told by Allah in his book. But Yunus, a narrator in his hadith, said, He, Musa, peace be upon him, followed the traces of the fish in the sea.